Hey everybody, welcome to Mortgage Today for Monday, May 10th, 2024, and oh, what a day it was. UMBS opened the day down eight basis points. Stock futures were also down four points. Stocks were lower this morning with no significant news, and both bonds and MBS were down. Uh, the upcoming week will be focused on the June FOMC meeting and the consumer price index release. The market expects the Fed to maintain current interest rate levels. The FOMC meeting will provide a few new economic forecasts and a revised dot plot. The December Fed funds forecasting varied chances of a rate cut this year following Friday's strong job report. The Atlanta Fed increased the quarter two GDP forecast from 2.6 to 3.1. Mortgage credit availability rose in May, making five consecutive months of increases, though it remains close to 2012 lows. Traders are bracing for volatility from Wednesday's CPI report and Fed rate decision with options pricing in a 1.25% move in the S&P 5 500 bond pricing is would bond pricing was worse this morning with the 10-year yield rising to 4.465 this week's economic data and fed guidance will likely shape the market sentiment for the rest of the year with many expecting no rate cuts in the near term we also got a three-year treasury auction came in at 4.659 versus a 4.648 expectations bid cover was 2.43 versus a 2.57 average these are fairly weak stats for a three-year auction weak enough to leave a bit of a market on the rest of the treasury yield curve not common for this short of a duration monday ended up being rather uneventful for the bonds despite its role as the leadoff hitter for an all-star lineup there were no significant economic reports on tap but the three-year auction managed to come in weak enough to prompt a bit of additional selling losses were short-lived and trading levels returned to pre-auction levels about 90 minutes later that left a sideways to modestly weaker tone intact for the day as traders wait for ultra high consequence data events on Wednesday. As feared, the bond market was not completely impervious to strong economic data as seen after Friday's jobs report with treasury auctions on a condensed schedule this week and significant event risk from CPI and Fed. We'd operate on the assumption that the risk averse pendulum will swing the other way until we get through Wednesday. In other words, both risk tolerant and risk adverse clients would be lock biased right now. Floating is for moon shooters only. It's glorious when it pays off, but high, but not a high probability shot. UMBS closed the day down 10 basis points at 100.16. So at 100.16, it's put us in this very narrow range with a ceiling there at 100.273 formed by the 25-day move average with a bunch of support, including the 100-day move average at a tough Fibonacci right above it. And then we got a converging floor of the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average right below it. So not a lot of things to look at for upside.